Hello everyone. I hope you're having a great day. It is January the 20th and we're going to get right into a word of wisdom, but I am excited. God is doing so many great things. I uh, met with a pastor of a Methodist church today, great man, wanting revival in his church. We're planning on doing revival there. Uh, just so many things this week I'll be talking about. God's doing good things. Um, but let's get to a word of wisdom, Proverbs chapter 20 and verse number 28. It says, Mercy and truth preserves the king and his throne is upheld by mercy now um you know i i'm going to talk about mercy every now and then when we do these because every few chapters you're going to find the bible uh here in uh, proverbs of wisdom talking about having mercy uh you know it's such a powerful thing to have mercy towards other people and how it frees you up and here it says, mercy and truth, the balance between having truth in your life and having mercy in your life, as Jesus Christ did, is such a powerful thing to have, mercy and truth. And here it says, it preserves uh, the king, it, it, uh, it lets that kingdom uh, move forward, it lets it move on, there's a, a preservation about it, there's a lasting uh, factor in having mercy and truth. And then, um, this is just the way I received it this morning when I was reading it. Uh, it says, and his throne is upheld by mercy. And upheld means it's girded up, it's lifted up by mercy. Having mercy is what connects you with so many different people. And um, that, that's how you get people uh, to uh, stand by you through things. When you've had mercy towards them, they'll have mercy back to you. It's important to live with mercy. I think I've told on another one of these word of wisdoms that... Uh, how my father, when I first started preaching, I wanted uh, him to take care of a situation and really take care of it. And you have to do that sometimes. But he was looked at me and he said, Jason, that same Bible you're preaching from, it's not just for the people you preach to, it's for you as well. And when it says, he that shows mercy shall receive mercy, that goes for you too, Jason. And uh, it was a hit right between the eyes that woke me up that I want to have mercy because I know there's going to be times in my life I'm going to need mercy. And uh, so so here it says it's upheld because when you have mercy towards somebody, they're going to stick with you uh, through good times and bad times. It's important to have mercy. Uh, but when you go back to the first part of the verse, he says mercy and truth preserves. And so I think in order to have a long lasting, because some people only want to have mercy. They only want to show mercy in every situation. But you've got to have mercy and truth if you want what you're doing in uh, life, in your marriage, in for your children, uh, for your ministry, if you want it to be preserved and last. That mixture of both mercy and truth. Know when you've got to say, this is the truth, that's it. And know when you that mercy comes in. And that only comes through being connected in the Spirit and praying. Uh, there's so much to say about this, but I'm just going to stop right here. God bless you. I hope you have a great day.